Calculus? More like fackles. But this Mets topic. It's so fucking complicated. Well, of course. It's higher level math. Calculus problem I know is the square root of 9, which is 3. Thank God I don't do it yet. You know you don't have to take it if you don't want to. Do you know who likes calculus? Jackie Chu from Super Mario again. No! Not another YouTuber who does this stupid crap. I hate YouTubers who do this stupid crap. Uh, do you know who likes it? Uh, insert whatever character I do not like. Uh, I'm so sick of that. After all, he did call Chef Pete Dunn for not studying calculus, but I still like both. Do you know who hates calculus? Tanner. After all, he tried to bail out of the big test in summer school 5 by pulling the fire alarm, and the test did have calculus problems in it. Uh, that uncreative story is so relatable, isn't it? Right? Right? Screw calculus. And screw Daryl from I love Cole VGCP. <sighs> Yet another YouTuber who has long montages at the end of the ramp videos about what they like and dislike. This is great. Not. Food loops? More like fuck poops. Ah, <sighs> we are already off to a great start with this video. Fuck the cereal. I once tried the cereal in 2011, and it tasted horrible. What the hell is wrong with Kellogg's cereals these days? I know, right? Why would anybody make rainbow-colored cereals? Because some people like it. There's a similar cereal to this one called Fruity Cheerios. Fruity Cheerios? No, more like Shitty Cheerios. Sounds like that would be a better rant for you guys. I hope this disgusting cereal gets discontinued for good. Me too. But hey, hey. Do you know what? Not everybody's gonna agree with you! We're never having Fruit Loops for breakfast again. Obviously. Do you know who likes Fruit Loops? Wormy from SpongeBob SquarePants. No! Wormy? More like Jizzy. Fuck this episode of SpongeBob SquarePants. It has ruined our childhood. The episode is very scary. We used to like this episode when we first saw it, but when Wormy became a butterfly, he had a face that looks somewhat similar to a bumblebee. Hey guys, I don't really think Wormy is that scary. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Scared us for life. And it was too inappropriate for kids. And teens. And occasionally, adults or even the senior citizens. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is the kind of crap which makes me wonder if you're a troll. But in all seriousness, if the episode was really that scary, they wouldn't have even released it. They could get heart attacks if they watched that episode. The fly head kept on appearing and appearing and appearing and now we're too scared to watch this episode. You know, you're talking like a witness to a lost episode creepypasta in a lost episode creepypasta. I hope this episode gets deleted for good. Kiara, do you know who likes Wormy? Tio from Dinosaur Adventure. He wishes he could be like him. But he can't because he can't fly, even though he thinks he can. Ugh, please, just stop with that already. Is he drunk or something? And do you know who hates Wormy? Ariana Grand Fan 1995 aka Snap Hits Megan. She is so scared of Wormy just like us. Wow, you guys must have watched it when you are like two or younger, because I remember watching it when I was like three, and I wasn't scared of it at all. And I watched it recently, and I still wasn't scared of it. So screw Wormy. And screw Gavin Graham. I can up pop is one trillion times better than Wormy. I agree with you, Kiara. End of rant. Next rant is, Wings. 
After the Wings rant is toy animatronic. I'm guessing that the toy animatronics rant will be identical to this rant. You'll just complain about it being scary. I'm psychic. <sighs> One last video. Guys, I have decided to change rants. From Dazzlings to Mark Tigers 879 Romo. This can't possibly end good. Enjoy, Mark Tigers 879 Romo. More like Mark Nigris 879 Homo. Get out of here with your offensive language. Fuck this user. He keeps on making videos out of us for no reason. Because he doesn't like your content. Once said no to me. Yes me. I'm pretty and I'm Pixar 99 Swell's girlfriend. He pisses us off. Or he just likes your content. I'm honestly confused. Why would you rant about one of your fans? Do you know who likes Tigris 879 Romo? Belson from Clarence. <sighs> You're literally sounding like a broken record with this thing, you know, right? He thinks making videos out of us for no reason is funny. Do you know who hates Mark Tigris 879 Romo? Chloe Comedian Vivo. We'd say that she's become notorious for her obsession with us, and she gets upset when she finds a hater of us. So screw Mark Tigris 879. Wow, you have very unclear wording because I got confused if he was actually a fan or not. But I was right all along, it is a critic of them. Oh, looky here. Guess what's on PSN? Oh, I couldn't tell! If only someone could- OH WAIT! THE FREAKING TITLE SAID IT ALL! Oh, relax. It was just a simple joke. Aw oh, yeah, the dumbest game in the universe, Sonic Adventure 2. Really, Gligar? The dumbest game in the universe? Really? You realize that not everybody likes Sonic, right? It's so overrated, but how good is this game? Well, let's download the demo. I already know what you're gonna say about the game. IT SUCKS SO MUCH MAJOR BALLS! That was a bad imitation of Gligar. Alright, so I see the demo right here, playable demo. Let's download this thing. Three gigs? Uh, are you serious? This is three gigs, and the original game was only 1.4 gigs. Dude, I know it's more gigs than the original, but as long as your P as long as your PS3 can handle it, it's fine. You realize he might have that problem. Just saying. Play City Escape, the only mission you can play in the trial. Oh my god, that's already a good sign. The controls are already sucking. Dude, that has never happened to me once when I played this. All you did was just press up on the analog stick. Of course. That's what Gligar does in his videos. He plays with the controls to make the game look bad. Ed, I mean, come on. This that is was not his first release. game complaint. You should have started that counter a lot earlier. Look at those amazingly detailed cars and Sonic's amazing model animations. Yeah, this is so not a copy-paste job. Look, the grind rails are still hard. They're not even that hard to grind, you idiot. So, he's an idiot just because he's not good at the grind rails. Uh, yeah, a person is not an idiot just because they're not good at a certain game mechanic. It's like, they just did a re-release fixing absolutely nothing. Way to go, Sega. Camera just, it's, it's going all crazy right there, you can't see shit. I can see perfectly fine, and you suck at the homing attack. But do you know what? Not everybody is like Billy Bob. <gasps> what an amazing discovery! Oh my god, Oma Chow didn't even talk. That's just a minor problem, and he's annoying anyway. 
So, shut your mouth! Well, it's obviously not a minor problem for Gligar. That's lazy. It's a glitch! If it's an annoying glitch, or it disrupts the gameplay, then yes, a glitch can be a problem. Also, if there's way too much glitches in a game, or if a game glitches too easily, then that could be a sign that the game developers were lazy. It's like they couldn't even get Omochao in for a studio session just to re-record that line. No, no, no. It's they a glitch! Not repeating myself! That. Wow, Sega. You just showed new levels of laziness. And let's not forget that you couldn't even get Ryan Drummond in the studio because you were too cheap to pay union voice actors. Ryan Drummond voices him in this port, you idiot. He's trying to make the game look bad, of course he's not gonna mention that. Screw this game. And screw you! Your dad's probably smarter than you and likes those games. Hey, hey, hey! It's called an opinion! Look it up! Just because someone doesn't like certain game doesn't make them stupider. In fact, that makes you look very unintelligent. Just not fun. Playing SC2 is half forming? Yeah, no, no. It's not gonna form any habits. Boo, you oh, suck! SPD. Real mature, buddy. Finally! Oh, yeah, look at this good game. Really? Oh, yeah, look at this good game. Another bad imitation of Gligar. It was only like three to four pounds on PSN. Gligar, you're British? You don't sound British, and I thought you were a Lucario from Ohio, and you don't look anything like a Lucario. Kind of a pointless PS2 statement, now. don't you think? Oh, okay. If you want a PS3, sure, it's a PS2 classic. It's also available on the PS2. It's a good first person shooter where you can. No one cares about this game. Well, Gligar does. Music's better. Sonic Adventure 2 has better music. I'm gonna show some snippets. I'm speechless! I really am! Not everybody is going to prefer the music of Sonic Adventure 2 over the music of Deus Ex! Now, I know Future Blood did a commentary on this exact same commentary, but do you know? I don't really care. I just really want to do a commentary on this god-awful commentary. It, it, I'm not exaggerating. I really am not. It's poorly edited, poorly executed, and the commentary that he's commentating on is way too old. So basically, Sean Sampson is doing a commentary on Junior Fan? Wait! Correct me on what year this commentary was uploaded. He uploaded it this year, 2015? <sighs> we all know that Junior Fan hasn't uploaded a commentary since like 2012 or something like that. Why would you want to do a commentary on Junior Fan? Why? Anyway, without further to do, let's get started, shall we? <laughs> Hey guys, Sean Sampson here, and today I'm going to be commentating on Junior Fan Returns. Yes, I know. Junior Fan Returns has been being a bandwagon with him, his and Cyberwolf's video on Ben Looney. Actually, no, they didn't become a bandwagon. They starred the bandwagon of Ben Looney. Why is this even relevant anymore, Sean? Why even bring that up? 
Also, you had a lot of awkward pauses just right there. It drags out the video, and this is what I mean by that his videos are incredibly poorly edited. Yes, I know. But, um, today is on a different video. You know, some- Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah. You have really annoying background noises in your freaking video. Maybe you should remind me sometime that it is a good idea to go to a rock concert to, I don't know, record my rants and commentaries. I bet my subscribers and my whole audience will love the fact that they can barely hear what I'm saying, and most of my introductions just reply of drums and guitars. Yes, even though a lot of people love rock music, including myself, I bet they will love it. Not. Some, some grown-ups like toys, right? Well, Junior Fan acts like he's never liked toys. Like, ever. He wasn't acting like he never liked toys. He was just commentating on someone who happened to use a Sailor Moon doll as his avatar. And he wasn't like using pictures of it, he was playing with it like a seven-year-old would. Even though Junior Fan does sound a bit harsh in this commentary, he wasn't being like completely like unfair or anything. It may seem that way, but he wasn't. And he didn't say at any point in that video that he never liked toys. Please tell me where you got that from, Sean. Like, seriously. He's acting like he doesn't like toys and people playing with toys, right? So yeah, let's get started on this commentary. Yeah, and by the way, I'm going to skip his intro because this goes on for way too long. How is this intro too long? Please explain. You know what, Dwayne? I need to give you props on how not to do an introduction because seriously, this introduction looks generic, meh, bland, vanilla, whatever adjective you want to describe mediocre. Because literally though, it looks like it was done in five seconds on the Vista version of Windows Movie Maker. So what? You could have just skipped it. I mean, seriously. You could have just skipped it like I did with your long, long introduction. Or I could have said about that with you, Sean, because I skipped your intro on in the beginning of this commentary. Oh, snap! Also, why would Junior Fan skip that intro? It was just like, I don't know, like five seconds long or something like that. I think we get it Your already. Intro so please, was way too long, just so I decided to skip it. On. See, you could have just skipped th that boring intro too. But enough about that. I know this is going to be your typical reaction as soon as you get done seeing this triple feature commentary I am doing on you. Hey everyone, it's me, Sailor Mars, and today I'm going to do a piss poor rant on that commentator named Junior Fed Returns in the BD-102. Sailor Mars says, I'm being controlled by a 27-year-old man-child on what words I should speak, because basically I'm not even moving my mouth. Yeah, you're going to repeat yourself in like every other rant. So let's go ahead and get this triple feature commentary started. Yes, yes. Debating 101, kids. If the opposer makes a valid point, make fun of them for it. Really, Sean? Really? That is your best attempt at making that point? <sighs> I could get using a media clip for a joke, or maybe a joke which is kind of also in a way a point. <sighs> but really? That's your best attempt at trying to debunk Do Junior Fan? Seriously? Hi everyone, it's me, Sailor Mars. 
Hi, Duane. Oops, I meant to say Sailor Mars. Which Sailor Mars must have really let herself go after the Sailor Moon franchise died out. Because seriously, Sailor Mars is telepathic. Didn't anybody notice that? She gained a new ability, folks. That's the main reason why she ain't moving her mouth or moving any of her ligaments. She could talk to you with her mind. Holy shit. And not only that, she let herself go with her voice. She sounds deeper. Like she really has a beer belly. Which she so doesn't sound like a 27-year-old man-child. Oh yeah, it's not like you're making fun of a man-child. Oh yeah, I'm making- you're making fun of a man-child. It's like you are. Just like what- Well, he was. This video was old. Haven't you looked at the date on it, like, at the bottom of the video, near the description? Have you looked at that? I'm guessing you haven't. Alright, people, I'm about to show you the exact video that he's commentating on. Alright, so here's the video that Sean is commentating on. Now let's look at the release date. Wait, look at when it was uploaded. February 23rd, 2012? But look, there's another upload date right under the official upload date. Let's look at that. It says it was uploaded in June 2011? All right, dude, that's just pushing it. Like, why would you do a commentary on a video that old? I'm not even sure Junior Fan even cares about the guy that he commentated on back then. That's holding a Sailor Scout doll, and the fact that you're using it as a third person in your particular rants. Yeah, people are really going to take you seriously over your pathetic rants. You know what, my best advice I would give you is to get rid of your friggin' Sailor Scout dolls, in particular rants, and not play with the damn things, and maybe show off your face. That would make your rants, I don't know, a little bit better? Maybe people would take you seriously? Well, people won't take you seriously because of that commentary you made on... on Ben Looney. Why even mention that? Just as I said, the videos are old. Run! Run! The apocalypse is coming because of how angry he sounds! Run! Junior fan, if you're doing a commentary on this right now, I'm going to say this. Run! Run! Run, because he's going to get angry at me! He sounds so angry! First of all, I don't think Junior Fan is going to make a commentary on this. Just like I said, because I'm not repeating myself. Also, I think that was most likely a joke. You come on here and you say that our videos are immature, inappropriate, and boring. And refer to what I said about him playing with the Sailor Scout dolls, okay, thanks, bye. If our videos are inappropriate, immature, or boring, why in the hell are you even watching them? Holy shit, I sense the first signs of butthurt being awakened by this particular man-child. Did you even hear what what Sailor Moon Red One was trying to say? He he was saying that if you don't like their videos, then why are you watching them? That's what he says. He's not being butthurt right here. He's just saying, why are you watching them if you don't like them? Yeah, true. But still, how do you know what you think about it if you haven't watched it yet? People have to watch his videos to know what their opinions on them are. Okay, so that joke was completely pointless, because you're just, your joke about 
a newscaster talking about Sailor Moon fanboys is just pointless. If you're commentating on this right now, I'm not being butthurt, okay? I I hate Sailor Moon Red 1. I think he's a horrible YouTuber because he likes he likes to complain about people people to get off the internet but um anyways I don't like this video I'm sorry I made that comment on your vi on your video and you responded like I was well you know what because you saw that comment on your video on your part one video I wasn't complaining I was just saying that I didn't like the video. Jesus. Well, why is this important to the commentary? You literally could have completely edited this part out and it would have changed hardly anything. Knowing Dwayne is basically going to be repeating himself, I'm going to go ahead and skip until I see a part where he doesn't repeat himself. So, now you're deciding to skip? I mean, earlier you didn't skip that boring introduction, which says, Sailor Moon Red One Rant, or whatever. So, you didn't decide to skip that, you just complained about it. Why he didn't skip that intro? Dude, I've repeated myself enough. I'm not repeating myself again. You know, I'm this close to using that half-boiled hero clip again. And yes, this is my real face. Are you freaking kidding me? That half-boiled hero clip was not funny. Now you may be asking yourself, why did I skip part two of his commentary? Well, it's very simple. Because he says barely anything in part two, so that's why I'm skipping straight to part three. What happened for the rest of part one of his commentary? Well, he played the half-boiled hero clip again, yes, I know, and the Junior Fan video. That's pretty much it. Anyway, let's stop rambling. Let's get started, shall we? And I'm impressed. There's no boring text introduction at the beginning of Sailor Moon Red 1's video. Holy shit. This video might actually turn out half decent. Uh, probably not. I've said it before and I'll say it again. In fact, I'll play that clip again. So, what? Uh, why did you need to show that? Junior Fan was just saying that he was glad that there was no boring text intro in this video, unlike the last video that he commentated on. I know some of the people who have made commentaries on me have said this about me, but I guess I'll now say it about you. Were you even paying attention? To, uh, Thorax does. And I wonder what that epic yet overhyped question that his fans answered would be. Could it be that they asked why he plays with the Sailor Moon dolls? Or why he doesn't have a job? It could be any of those questions! I said it before, and I'll say it again. Making fun of a 27-year-old isn't going to solve anything. I am not repeating myself. You already know what I'm gonna say. Run corporations such as McDonald's and fucking Walmart and any of the places that you are willing to work, most of them require at least a GED or a high school diploma? 
don't you fucking realize that, especially this day and age? Of course you don't! You make me sick with this fucking video, Dwayne, and the main reason why I'm raging is because of your fucking stupidity level, okay? I'm sick and tired of morons like you that thinks it's cool just to sit on your fucking lazy asses all day doing absolutely fucking nothing. You have the physical ability to actually work. I'm sick and tired of people like you that ruin our fucking country. So shut the fuck up! I am not repeating myself here, Sean. I feel like I've said this a million times. Now, I'm not commentating anymore on this god-awful commentary. But there is one more thing I want to commentate on. Not one of his videos, but a few of his comments, which makes me think twice about him. <sighs> Let's check out some of these comments. Okay, so here is his comment on Junior Fan's video and all the replies. Now, he just says in his original comment that he doesn't like the video. Shock enough. But here's Junior Fan's reply, and I'll read it directly. I don't like your comment because you're bitching about a three and a half year old outdated commentary I made on a guy. That played with Sailor Moon dolls, which if I'm not mistaken, still plays with them on his videos to this day. See? Junior Fan agrees with me, but that's not relevant. Do you know what is relevant? A clip from part one. Let's play it, shall we? I don't like this video. I'm sorry. I made that comment on your, vi on your video and you responded like, I was... Well, you know what, because you saw that comment on your video, on your part one video, I wasn't complaining, I was just saying that I didn't like the video. Yeah, true, you were just saying that you didn't like the video, but still, Junior Fan wasn't just complaining about you not liking his video, he was complaining about you commenting like that on an old video. Now, here's a few comments on Sean's video. Now, Junior Fan did comment on it and corrected him and blah, 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 but that's not the focus. I actually commented on it. Now, let's look at a comment on my last commentary. And no, I'm not talking about part one. Now, here's his comment. Really, do I even need to read it? I wasn't lying. I just said that I was going to make a commentary on it. In fact, Let's look at the comment again. Now, how was I lying there? All I said was that I was going to do a commentary on it. I didn't say it was going to be my next video or anything, or my next commentary. I just said I was going to make a commentary on it. Honestly, I think Sean is trying to make me look bad here. Overall, Sean, please find more up-to-date videos to commentate on. Also, you should think about the comments that you write on the comments page before you actually type them. Hey guys, Sean Sampson here, and today I'm going to be doing a commentary on Death Critic. And he did a commentary on my commentary on Ryan Rhino Mills. Now, I do gotta admit, I do regret making that commentary on Ryan, but this, along with BZ Askiro's commentaries on me, are completely horrible. Uh, why is it horrible? Please, explain, Sean. Oh wait, I forgot. It's probably just because it's a commentary on you get to ranting on that video soon. Yeah, I think that video is worse. But this video, eh, it's not as bad as that video. So, let's get started on this commentary. People, we better prepare for more crappy response commentaries like this. They're not gonna end anytime soon. Rave time! <laughs> Thank you.
Wow, I am back from the dead, people. Hey guys, Seth Critic here, and welcome to Return of the Commentary video by Sexy Black Lady. Never say that ever again, Death Critic. Uh, joke maybe? Also, explain. Wow, people really miss me so much. It's well, it's good to be back here in YouTube right now. It's good to be back. It's been a long time, isn't it? So since I'm back today, I'll be doing a commentary video on Sean Sampson, who made a commentary video on Ryan Rhino Mills over Blue Flame 3500. Actually, dude, it's not. That's not the avatar that Ryan used in this particular video. Yeah, he used this picture before he started using his own avatar. Why does that matter? That is his most recognizable avatar that Death Critic showed. What's the problem with that? This video is kind of short and is really bad. So let's see how bad he did this time. You know, dude, if you want to say that the video is terrible, wait until the end of the video to explain your thoughts on the video, instead of saying it right now. What is the problem with saying that the video is bad at the beginning? He wasn't, like, saying his full thoughts, like his final thoughts at the beginning. No, he just said it was bad. So, without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> hey, I'm a dick. So, what was the point of that joke? All you did was show one of your emails, and um, then you're you're saying that you're a D. Just why did you use that joke? Was he trying to be funny? Isn't what purpose of his video is trying to be funny and being entertaining in his commentary videos? Why did I take this seriously? Uh, dude. I wasn't taking the joke seriously. I was just questioning why he used it. Can't you understand that? Oh, I can totally tell why Death Critic took you as taking that joke seriously. What was the point of that joke? All you did was show one of your emails. And um, then you're, you're saying that you're a thief. Just why you're using it. Yeah. Pay attention. Yes, you guys aren't seeing things. I'm doing a two-shot on Rhino Mills. Y'all. Please don't use that, because that is not... That is not pleasant to the ear. I mean, seriously. You used it at the beginning of the video, and you used it when Blue Flame said, Yes, you guys aren't seeing things. I'm doing a two-shot on Rhino Mills. Yeah. Have you heard of skipping before? No? Oh well, I'm sure you'll learn your lesson in the future. Learned what lesson? Are you serious, dude? I mean, explaining what is that? Uh, 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 uh. What? He explained it. He said he hopes that you skip in the future. He doesn't need to explain anything. More rave time! That means more partying! Yippee! Actually, that does make you a hypocrite because you get on orbit for for saying something generic, and yet in the same video you use something cliche. Just like what Blue Flame said, that does make you a hypocrite. Because you get on him for using a generic, and yet you used a cliche in the same video. Yeah, that does make you a hypocrite. First of all, how is he being a hypocrite? Rhino Mills was just giving an explanation of how generic it is when Sonic Orbit argued, Bieber Fanatic 123? You're seriously gonna do a commentary on them? I don't see any valid point of your argument over Rhino Mills about his cliché and generic points. I mean, I don't mean to be Mr. Cliché here, but pay attention! Also, he was just making an explanation that not to be Mr. Cliché here, he's just giving a little advice. 
That doesn't make him a hypocrite, alright? Okay, dude. I said that it makes him a hypocrite because he was getting on orbit for saying something generic, and yet in the same video he used a cliché. Like Blue Flame said, the words do mean unoriginality. That's why I said that Ryan was being a hypocrite. He said he didn't mean to be Mr. Cliché, and then he said, but pay attention. Seriously, why do I need to explain this? Okay, I'm not gonna make that rave joke anymore. You get it already. And that's where the video ends. Overall, this commentary video by Sean Sampson was terrible. He didn't even pay attention to any of his arguments claim over Ryan and Rhino Mills. Also, he's slightly defending Blue Flame 3500, which is weird because he did some mistakes throughout his two-shot video over Rhino Mills. Also, just want to give you a big note here. Sean Sampson made a commentary video on it that is four months old. Yes. The video is four months old, but at least I'm not commentating on a dead topic. Which you do a lot. Just throwing it out there. And I could tell most of his commentary videos that were dead topic. You know what? I'm going to stop the video right there. Because I want to bring up this point. I didn't commentate on videos that were dead topics. Uh, uh, uh. Are you freaking kidding me? Yes, dude. You have done commentaries on videos which are dead topics. You did a commentary on a Junior Fan video from 2011. You did a commentary on a Mew Manic video from 2012. You did a commentary on the most hated stuff. You did a commentary on the Uncle Hammer. You did a commentary on Dirt Bike Redden's first commentary. Don't try to deny it. Yes, you have done commentaries on dead topics. Yet another commentary on Gurry Girl X. Now, this commentary is going to be a little different than my last commentary on him and all my other commentaries because I'm doing a commentary on a commentary. Yes, the first time ever I'm doing a commentary on a commentary. So let's get started, shall we? Now before I start the video, I want to give a little background. The video when I'm commentating on today was made by a user named Lusion Pinchelopans, whose name is so hard to memorize, I'll just call him George. Really? Are you serious, Gurry? Like seriously? Instead of just calling him like Illusion Pans or something like that, you're just gonna call him George just because he has a longer username? Oh, laziness. For sure. Anyways, the following video George made was something I've wanted to commentate on for a while, but just recently he just took it down for some reason. I don't know why. That's probably because he just realized that you can't take criticism and would make a video like this. But I hope I get my message across anyways. Oh my god, shut the fuck up about Flappy Bird. Wait a second, is that Spigonia? One, it's obvious that Gurry Girl X actually has the means to actually use his own voice. Why did he use Spigonia? Why? You fuckers. Seriously, I can't go on the internet for one fucking second without some motherfucker talking about how it was removed from the App Store. Honestly, I have never even heard about this retarded game. Until the news came up that it was being taken down. Wow, I'm not just criticizing his commentary, I'm criticizing the video that this guy is commentating on too. Like, just like I said in my last commentary on him, he cannot take opinions. And that definitely shows. Honestly, oh, who gives a shit? It's just another stupid casual game anyway. And why bother with trash like that, when you could be playing better games like The Last of Us, Team Fortress 2, and League of Legends? Shut the fuck up about Flappy Bird, and also boycott Candy Crush from copywriting more words. Wait a minute, this is it? 
This is the only thing you really did? Is that the only reason why you want people to shut the fuck up about Flappy Bird? You don't give any reasons why you hate it, and there's better games to play. Why? Why Why is there better games to play? You don't explain anything in the video. You just... Oh, I did ha- Oh! Oh, God. George, don't fucking mess with your mic like that. You have kind of a point there, but still... What about if he just has a crappy mic and it's not his fault? Because that sounds like a crappy mic to me. Have you ever thought of that, Gurry? Like, seriously? Whatever's making that obnoxious scratching noise in your video, please fix it right the fuck now. And you know what else? It's not like Gurgle X has always been like this. He's even said this in some of his commentaries on himself in the past, like, half-ass. He even said that himself. And basically, he's being a half-ass right now because all he does is, I don't feel like it. And you know what? Why should I- why does anyone else want to play the games? You don't- basically, this is what he does. Hey! Hey, guys! Yeah, so far my point, the first flaw of the video has been longer than this whole video. Wow. Oh, man. Well, it's just a dumb, sh short little video I made telling people not to play Flappy Bird. I don't need to tell them why, and I don't need to put effort into it. This isn't like some sort of, you know, some sort of analysis on why you shouldn't play Flappy Bird, no. Well, it kind of is, because you're telling people directly not to play a game. And it kind of is that, actually. Like, my god. Like, I know it's a short little video you made, but you could have put a little more effort into it. Like, you could have truly put a lot more effort into it. This is just some short little video that I made telling people Flappy Bird sucks and not to play it. This isn't a fucking PSA, this isn't something serious, it's just something I made for fun. Seriously, get over it. Well, you didn't tell us at any point in that video that it was just a parody type video. You didn't say in like the beginning of the video or anything like this is just a parody. People could get confused about that, you know? And you know what else he does? My goodness, it's hard to even understand him in the whole video. He's using Speakonia. Why is he using Speakonia when clearly you know he has a microphone? Seriously, why? Well, why not use Speakonia? If I want to use Speakonia, I think I should be allowed to use it. Also, I don't find Speakonia hard to listen to myself. Well, if you want to use it, use it. Good for you. But if you have the means to record your own voice and not just use this program, I think you should use your voice. Like, why wouldn't you? Well, it's taking you an awfully long time to say something, George. You do have a bit of a point there, but he was just taking a few seconds. It wasn't like two minutes or anything. It's still pretty bad, but it's not nearly as bad like you're saying, Oh, I'm waiting for you to say something. Like, seriously? Well, let's look at another Google X video. Top 10 best games ever. It's fine. I can understand if these are his opinions. Basically, I think almost all of these are garbage, but fine, he can have his opinions. But, you know, there's proof that these aren't his real opinions. In the comments, he sa basically says, um, no, where's your sense of humor? Because the guy said, S are these seriously your top ten best games? He said, no, where's your sense of humor? Why do you make a video if you're not being serious? Because it's a troll video. Yeah, that video you made was pretty bad, but it didn't annoy me to the slightest.
You failed with that video, Guri. And look at him now. He's making a commentary on three of your videos. Great job, Guri. Great job. And it was there purposely to, for one, be, you know, funny and to also piss people off. Because I like doing that shit. And, you know, I remember one time, George, when you typed to me in a comment that you said that, oh, you're not allowed to be funny in commentaries. You're supposed to be serious and shit. And I have to ask, George, do you hate humor? Let's play that clip again. Do you hate humor? Do you hate humor? Yeah, I know commentaries are for constructive criticism, but this is one of the worst statements I've ever heard in a commentary or rant video. Like, seriously. He doesn't hate humor. Yeah, I would agree with Guri Gorax on this one. Pinch Lepad's videos, or whatever he's called, aren't that great. They weren't that great. But he doesn't hate humor. Like, even in that video, that video that Guri Gorax was commentating him on, he was using comedy cartoon characters. Like, they are, like, serious cartoons. They were comedy cartoon characters. How does he hate humor? Like, seriously. Do you just... Do you just hate being funny? I mean, I get it, you know, I understand if you think my sense of humor sucks, but clearly, it seems like as if you just seem to hate people being funny. I mean, obviously, this list was not my fucking top 10 favorite games of all time. Because if it was, The Last of Us would obviously be Don't number worry, one. Don't worry, people. Of course, but, Curry Girl uh, anyway. X is gonna point out the obvious. Yeah, that list was meant to be a joke. Where's your sense of fucking humor? You know, he used to say people in his commentaries, Editing? What's that? You know what my, uh, you know what my, uh, you know what my joke is? Being serious? What's that? <laughs> Just okay, repeating himself. Move on now. Wow, hey, Guri Guru you X, you already you know, said that. Can you please move on? Or something. I mean, I love waiting and waiting for you to fucking talk. Yeah, th this video that Guri Girl X made called Top 10 Worst Consoles is freaking terrible. He's immature in the whole video. Oh, George, I'm just young at heart. I mean, seriously, it's just a bunch of fart noises playing in the background. Basically, what it is, is you take the music from Zelda and put fart noises in it. And basically, this shows how unoriginal Gorlo X is now. You know what else? It's not like he was original and made it. Heck, I give him a little credit for that. But nope, he was unoriginal. You want my proof? Well, the angry video game nerd made... A video on CDI, why he hates all the CDI games like Zelda. And after the last part of Angry Video Game Nerd's video, Angry Video Game Nerd played Zelda music and made part noises because he said the game was shit. So basically, Gurgle X just stole it and put it in his video. Well, how original, Gurgle X, you unoriginal half ass. You know, I'm pretty certain James Rolfe would not give two fucks about whether or not I stole his music. And seriously, this kind of stuff is done on the internet all, all the goddamn time. People use clips from various movies, people use licensed songs for music. If what I did was wrong, 
then practically the whole internet must be at fault too. I can give you that, Curry Girl X. You did have a good point there. So the moral of the story is that modern games are better than Mega Man. Good night, bitches. Oh, so apparently he had just had to remind me about my last commentary on him. Okay. Also, Curry Girl X, please be more constructive in the future. Wait. I just did a commentary on a crappy commentary on a crappy commentary. God help me.